Welcome to today's daily coronavirus briefing. I would like to begin by updating you on the current COVID-19 cases internationally confirmed cases. 5,521,911. Today, plus 409. Deaths. 349,050. Today, plus 2. Recovered. 2,286,879. Today, plus 9,792. Coronavirus, Boris Johnson to face senior MPs amid Cummings Row. Boris Johnson will be questioned by senior MPs later amid continued calls for his top advisor to resign. It marks the first time he has appeared before the Commons Liaison Committee, the only committee that gets to question the PM, since taking office. Committee members are expected to ask Mr. Johnson about the government's handling of the coronavirus pandemic. He is also likely to be asked about his aide Dominic Cummings' controversial lockdown trip to County Durham. More than 35 Tory MPs have called for Mr. Cummings to resign or be fired after his 260-mile journey came to light. Mr. Cummings' decision in March to drive from his London home to his parents' farm in County Drum with his wife, who had coronavirus symptoms, and his son has dominated the headlines since the story broke on Friday night. The PM's chief advisor gave a news conference on Monday, explaining that he decided to make the trip because he felt it would be better to self-isolate in a place where he had options for childcare if required. He has received the continued support of the Prime Minister, who said that his aide had acted legally and with integrity. But cross-party critics have called for Mr. Cummings to leave No. 10, while Junior Minister Douglas Ross resigned in protest. Mr. Cummings has defended his trip to County Drum during lockdown. Conservative MP Craig Whitaker told BBC Two's Newsnight that Mr. Cummings' position was untenable, adding, I respect he is taking a decision but what I can't get my head around is why he can't take responsibility for that decision. The Liaison Committee, a panel of MPs who chair various select committees, is the only Commons committee that can question the Prime Minister. The two-hour video conference will take place at 16.30 BST. The committee's new chairman, Sir Bernard Jenkin, announced the session last week before Mr. Cummings' controversial trip came to light. Sir Bernard said the coronavirus crisis had led to a centralization of power, making the Prime Minister more personally accountable than usual. Mr. Johnson had previously been accused of dodging scrutiny after pulling out of an appearance in front of the committee in October last year. At the time, the Prime Minister justified the decision by saying he had to focus on delivering Brexit. Sir Bernard was appointed to his new role a week ago, despite a cross-party attempt to block it after a dispute over the procedure. He had been nominated to chair the committee by the government, even though he no longer chairs a committee of his own. Sir Bernard, who previously chaired the Public Administration Committee, was a leading member, alongside Mr Johnson, of the 2016 campaign to get Britain out of the EU. The Liaison Committee which has held scrutiny sessions with prime ministers since 2002, is made up of 37 Tory, Labour and SNP MPs who head up other committees in Parliament. Sir Bernard will be joined in his questioning of the PM by Labour MPs Hilary Benn and Sarah Champion, Tory MPs Karen Bradley and Greg Clark, and the SNP's Pete Wishart, Conservative MP Tobias L. Wood, who chairs the Defence Select Committee appeared unhappy on Twitter that he was not on the list, and was retweeted by fellow Tory Tom Tugendat, who chairs the Foreign Affairs Committee. But a statement from Sir Bernard said the whole liaison committee had unanimously agreed the members of the working group who would be joining him for the session. Coronavirus Updates Latin America has become new epicenter of virus coronavirus, domestic abuse website visits up by tenfold. Charity says there are concerns over a potential rise in lockdown abuse. The charity which runs the National Domestic Abuse Helpline has had a tenfold increase in visits to its website in the past two weeks. Refuge said numbers have spiked again significantly since it started recording rises during lockdown.
The charity said the lockdown itself does not cause domestic abuse but can aggravate pre-existing behaviors in an abusive partner. Police figures suggest a wide regional variation in calls about abuse. Fears that social conditions created by the coronavirus lockdown could result in a spike in domestic abuse led the government to boost funding for services by pound 76 million. Coronavirus, how childminders are caring for children in their own home try changing a nappy and maintaining social distance. Of all the groups affected by government moves to get schools and child care settings fully open, the stakes are probably highest for childminders. No one else potentially invites infection into their own homes while they work. Stay alert. We can all help control the virus if we all stay alert. This means you must stay at home as much as possible. Work from home if you can. Limit contact with other people. Keep your distance if you go out, two meters apart where possible. Wash your hands regularly. Do not leave home if you or anyone in your household has symptoms. Stay alert control the virus save lives. Stay at home if you think you have coronavirus, self-isolating. Stay alert and safe, social distancing guidance for everyone. Stay alert, what you can and cannot do. How to stay safe outside your home. Our plan to rebuild, the UK government's COVID-19 recovery strategy. How to protect clinically extremely vulnerable people, shielding. Guidance for unpaid carers. Visit gov.ukgov.uk for more information. Apply for a test if you have coronavirus symptoms. Apply for a test if you are an essential worker. Apply for tests for a care home. Book a test if you have a verification code. Education and child care. How universities, nurseries, schools and colleges are working during coronavirus, COVID-19. Schools and nurseries remain closed to all pupils except children of key workers and vulnerable children. Exams are cancelled and grades will be assessed differently. Free school meals or food vouchers will be available for pupils not attending school. It is not currently illegal not to send a vulnerable child or student to school. From 1 June schools, colleges and nurseries are set to open to more children. Country and territory. Confirmed. Deaths. Recovered. United States. 1,672,195. 98,481. 384,902. Brazil. 391,222. 24,512. 158,593. Russia. 362,342. 3,807. 131,129. United Kingdom. 265,227. 37,048. Spain. 235,400. 26,834. Italy. 230,555. 32,955. 144,658. Germany. 179,002. 8,302. 162,000. Turkey. 158,762. 4,397. 121,507. France. 145,555. 28,530. 65,879. India. 145,380. 4,167. 60,491. Iran. 137,724. 7,451. Peru. 
129,751. 3,788. Canada. 86,636. 6,639. 45,352. China. 84,543. 4,645. 78,277. Chile. 77,961. 806. 30,915. Saudi Arabia. 74,795. 399. Mexico. 74,560. 8,134. 52,219. Pakistan. 57,705. 1,197. 18,314. Belgium. 57,455. 9,334. Qatar. 47,207. 28. 11,844. Netherlands. 45,578. 5,856. Belarus. 38,059. 208. 15,086. Ecuador. 37,355. 3,203. 3,560. Bangladesh. 36,751. 522. Sweden. 34,440. 4,125. Singapore. 32,343. 23. 16,444. United Arab Emirates. 31,086. 253. 15,982. Portugal. 31,007. 1,342. 18,096. Switzerland. 30,714. 1,915. 28,200. Republic of Ireland. 24,735. 1,615. South Africa. 24,264. 524. 12,741. Indonesia. 23,165. 1,418. 5,877. Colombia. 23,003. 776. 5,511. Kuwait. 22,575. 172. 7,306. Poland. 22,074. 1,024. Ukraine. 21,584. 644. 7,575. Romania. 18,429. 1,210. 11,874. MK Local News and Awareness UK 3.